Hello everyone, my name is Elle, in case you didn't already know, and welcome to hashtag 365 days of samples. This is a project where I work through, as the name would suggest, all of my samples, from foils to perfume vials to deluxe size and travel size items. Alright, so uh, I do have a whole playlist in case you need to get caught up on it. There's a lot, a lot of updates because I started this last year in 2016 and I just decided to keep doing it through 2017 because it's just so much fun. But anyway, I have quite a few things to talk about, so let's start with the products that I would not purchase the full size of first. So there's actually quite a few products that I would not purchase the full size of this week. The first thing I have is from Dior, and this is the Dream Skin One Minute Mask. So there's enough still in this packet to use probably one more time, but I only used it once because I could not stand the smell. It is so heavily fragranced, like it's very, very perfumey. So I liked the way that my skin looked after using it. This is a youth perfecting mask, so it has um, AHA in it, and it did make my skin look good, but I, I hated having it on my face because the smell was that strong. Just old lady floral perfume stuff. I don't know. I, I find that with a lot of products from brands like Dior and Chanel, everything's really fragranced. And I'm very sensitive to fragrances like that, and I just could not tolerate it, despite the fact that my skin looked good. My skin just didn't look good enough to tolerate this, even though it's just a one minute thing. I just, that one minute was painful. Like I was itching to take it off my skin. It was just that strong. So I really wish it didn't have the scent because I'm always looking to try new face masks, but this just, this is not one for me. I also have this night cream from Dr. Brandt. This is the Do Not Age Dream Night Cream. So this was an okay product, just not great. I'm definitely being more critical, I find, as time goes on, as I've been doing this project longer, I definitely evaluate things like skincare differently than I did when I started. And one of the things I always look for is, do I miss this product once it's gone? Do I miss the effect it had on my skin? Because this was a hydrating, night cream. Like I felt like when I woke up in the morning my skin was hydrated. I always like the way that my skin looks when I use something on my face in the evening. I just feel like I wake up with more hydrated, fresh looking skin. Um, but when I finished this up, I switched back to my Drunk Elephant Marula Oil, which is just so much better. So, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, it's a good enough product. It just does not compare well to the other things I've already used. So it's a good and a bad thing. That's, that's the thing with this challenge is that I'm really getting to discover a lot of things and I'm also really falling in love with a lot of products that I already have because I can see how much better they work for me and the Drunk Elephant Rural Oil, oil was something I had tried in this project previously so this project does work. It has helped me a lot, like tremendously. I also would not purchase the full size of the Dr. Dennis Gross C Plus Collagen Brighten and Firm Vitamin C Serum. So this was a good serum. Like I I liked using it, but again, it was one of those things that when I finished using it, I just didn't think about it again. I just moved on. I just dug out other things that I had to use on my face. So that was just a sign to me that I just don't need to purchase the full size of it. It's the same thing that goes with makeup products as well. Like I try and take note of how much I think of something, even if something I haven't used and I just want a general type of product. I try to note that when I'm doing my makeup as well. So say it was something like, oh, I wish I had a, a white eyeliner. I try to make a note of it, because that way the next day when I go and do my makeup, I think, oh, gee, I wish I had a white eyeliner. I can go and see, oh, I actually had written that down yesterday and the day before and the day before that. And last week, okay, I think it's time to get a white eyeliner because I've wanted it enough. It's not one of those um, like impulse kind of buys where it's like, oh, I saw somebody use that one time and now I want it. It's like, no, I saw somebody use that but I'm going to keep looking into it further and see if it's something additional, something new that I really want to add in. So maybe that might help somebody else. But so anyway, that serum, like it's not that it was a bad serum. It's just, it just, I don't think it's the right one for me. And yet another product that I would not purchase the full size of from Too Faced. This is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. So this was okay. I just felt like I had to use so much product to cover my face. I like primers all over my face and I don't like to mix primers. I don't really have the time for that in the morning to try and be like, okay, well this part of my face I'm going to use this and this part of my face I'm going to use this. It's like, no, I want one primer to do my whole face and I felt like I needed so much product in order to cover my face with this primer. So it just wasn't for me. Um, 
it looked okay like foundation went nicely on top of it I, it was just because of how much i needed to cover my face like a little did not go a long way like with some primers just a couple of squeezes you know like a couple little pea size amounts will do my whole face and with this thing i needed like i don't know six like three times the amount that i would normally use with another primer to cover my face so the effect was good i just don't want to spend that much money on something that i would finish up that quickly when there's other mattifying primers that i really like i did buy like the fenty beauty one somewhat recently and i really like that one for a mattifying primer so i'll pass on this it's too bad i do want to try some other things from the uh the peach collection because i like it it appeals to me i like peach things but i haven't i haven't dived into that yet <laughs> Okay, so I do have two more things that I would not purchase the full size of. They're kind of all together in one sample. It's the Makeup Forever Artist Acrylic Lip Paint. So I did play with two of the samples, 202 and 401. And 202 is a hot pink and 401 is like a deep red color. And on me, it would look, just looked very red. So I did like how it looked in the packaging. It seemed like it would be burgundy, but it was more of a true red on me. I did not like it. And this is just so thick and goopy, glossy stuff. Oh my God, I hated it. I really did hate it. So I do have one left that I still will try, I guess, because I this is a, like a dark purple, almost black. And I feel like I might be able to do something fun with that, maybe to do like an Instagram pic or anything. Um, when I played around with these two, I just did not like them that much that I took them off and I just couldn't keep them on my lips for long enough to like create a look around them. Because when I would do something like this, I'd put the lip on first and then do something to my eyes or face or whatever. And I just did not, I did not like these. Just too sticky and goopy for me. If you've been with my channel for a while now, you'll know my thoughts on stuff like lip glosses are not good. I just don't like the feeling of it. I don't like having my lips stick together. I don't like my hair sticking to my lips. I just don't like having that heavy coating of stuff on my lips. So, I mean, the effect was decent enough. Like, it wasn't like super shiny, magical product or anything. It just was like a really thick pigmented lip gloss. So... I don't know, I'll try 501, try and create a look or something with it so I can take a picture or maybe just take like a video or something so you can see it in action. But it's totally not for me. If you love lip gloss and you've been looking for like a really pigmented gloss, you would probably really enjoy this just because it is insanely pigmented. It's just the feeling that I don't personally like. All right, so that was a lot of products that I would not purchase the full size of, and I only have one thing that I would purchase the full size of for this update, and that is from Sephora, and that is the Sephora Cleansing Cream in Rose. So this is supposed to be for face and eyes. So there is a little bit more information on the back of the cardboard thing that came with it. It tells you to put a dab on fingers, apply to dry skin, massage delicately, and then rinse with warm water. It says that Rose is supposed to replenish skin moisture, um, it's supposed to give an instant radiance boost and it gives you skin that is quenched, refreshed, and brighter. Now there's also a few other variations of the cleansing creams. So they also have um, yuzu, which is supposed to be revitalizing and toning, coconut water, which is soothing and relaxing, and pomegranate, which is anti-fatigue and energizing. And then they have two exfoliating cleansing creams, um, green tea, mattifying and anti-blemish, and charcoal, which is purifying and detoxifying. Now, I in the past have not like exfoliating cream products. I really just don't like the uh, juxtaposition of a really creamy like cleanser, face cleanser, with something a little bit harsher and supposed to cleanse your face like I find it never worked well enough for me like my face would either a not be clean enough or b not exfoliated enough but I really enjoyed the cleansing cream so I would definitely repurchase the rose one for sure I'm also really interested in the pomegranate one I'm obsessed with pomegranate scented everything anyway and the fact that it's supposed to be anti-fatigue and energizing really just speaks to me. So I feel like this is gonna be one of those products that I am going to buy the full size of. Um, I'm not sure if I will try and get a sample of pomegranate first before buying that one, because that's what I'm sort of leaning towards right now is buying pomegranate um, instead of buying rose, but maybe I'll buy both. I don't know. I, uh, I need another cleanser for my upstairs shower because I'm all out. So I'm thinking that this might be a good option. I think it's fairly affordable. I can't remember the exact price right now, but I will put the price up here somewhere for the full size. Um, I do know that the Sephora brand is pretty reasonable and 
they've really upped their game in terms of quality recently so I'm very impressed. I just felt like my skin looked really cleansed and comfortable like as opposed to some cleansers I'm like really scrubbing at my face or I'm just having to go over and over and over again with some products. Not like the fresh soy face cleanser which I absolutely love but just some of the other things I've been hanging on to and trying to finish up they just haven't worked that well and this one was so nice it just felt so good on my skin and my skin looked and felt clean cleanse just it was a great product so i do have a few things that are still left over that i'll be working on for the next couple of weeks so i did quickly mention already the um, other acrylic lip from makeup forever i still have black opium the perfume from ysl i did not use this fresh face mask this is the vitamin and nectar face mask i just sort of forgot about it the laneige water bank moisture cream i've got quite a bit gone out of that already i do like this this is a really good moisturizer and I have a tiny tiny bit left of the Ren Keep Young and Beautiful Instant Firming Beauty Shot so that should be finished by the next update. All right so let's take a look into the sample box. Fair warning there's some more stuff in here. Can you tell that it's holiday buying time? I've had a little bit too much fun buying some stuff recently. I love holiday stuff and the bonus extra bonus I guess is that I get some more samples to play with. So um I have what one two, three, four, five, five things left. So I'll pick five, maybe six more. We'll see what I end up drawing out of this box just because sometimes I want to pick more than what I say. So the first thing I have here is from Bumble and Bumble and this is the Hairdresser's Invisible Oil Balm to Oil Pre-Shampoo Mask. Okay, I'm very intrigued by this. All right, so the second product I have here, I have, this is from, <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, so this is actually one of the exfoliating cleansing creams from Sephora. This is the charcoal one. So, okay, I will try this out. I will try it and see if I like it better. I did not actually know I had this sample in here. So there we go. Kind of exciting. Okay, so that's number two. This will be number three. We've got, this is from IGK. This is Low Key, a cleansing walnut scalp scrub. Ooh, interesting. I've used like a walnut scrub on my face, but not on my scalp, and that could probably really help me. So again, really, really interesting products I, I have so far. All right, so product number four. I've got, uh, this is a foundation sample from Sephora. This is the 10 hour wear perfection foundation. So there is three samples in here. There is light ivory, um, medium beige and medium walnut. So I will probably try out the light ivory 10. Um, I like that they have a list all here on the side of the different shades that they have and that's a lot of beige. That's a lot of beige. Um, but I do see that there are some, a few deeper shades than the medium, but there's also a few lighter shades than the ivory. So if I like the formula of it, there might be a shade that matches me because I feel like that shade is probably going to be a little bit too, too dark for me. It does even look a little bit yellow, but we'll see. There's 37 shades. That's pretty good. And it says for a perfect complexion, apply with the pro brush number 47. I think I have that brush. I'll have to check. Just do it right, I guess. But I, hey, I like makeup samples. I would actually like to pick another makeup product, but it can be hard sometimes when you're like feeling in the box. You don't know what you're getting. So um, let's see here. I have a lip gloss. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to declutter this now because I know, you know what? I'm not going to use it. I'm not gonna use it. So let's let's go pick something else. Um, ha, another lip gloss. This is from Buxom. I'm gonna declutter that one as well. I just I'm being real, real with myself, really real with myself. I'm not gonna use it. Okay, so I'm sure there's more, but let's find something else. Okay, this is getting kind of funny. Another lip gloss, but hey, I'm decluttering stuff. Um, again, we have. Okay, this is a eye stick. Uh, caviar stick eye color from Laura Mercier in Eau Naturelle. So, oh, that's pretty. It's like a cool toned color too, which is sort of rare. That's beautiful. All right, so I do think I can pick one more thing. Just, I'm feeling one more thing, okay. So, the sixth product I have is a perfume from 
Oh, another one of those replica perfumes. This is called Dancing on the Moon. I love it already. It's supposed to be gender anonymous and it's a floral minerality. Okay, I'm highly, highly intrigued by this. Highly intrigued. Okay. I'm glad I picked one more thing. Okay, so I've got six things. I think I've got a pretty good variety. I've got some skincare, I've got some hair care, I've got perfume, I've got makeup. This is good. This is this is a good mix of products. I just, I love trying new things. It's so much fun. All right, so let me know if you have anything to tell me about any of these products, if you have any experience with them, if you've used them and you liked them or hated them or any tips on application or how to use them definitely let me know. Also, if you have any ideas or suggestions for videos that you would like to see from me, I'd love to hear that as well. So anyway, thank you so, so much for spending some of your day with me today. I really, really appreciate it. I'll see you next Sunday for Lipstick Roulette, which will be back, and two weeks time for another hashtag 365 days of samples. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week ahead of you. Thank you so, so much, and I hope I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.